Yeah, I mean, the, the, the overall global population projections are pretty uh, alarming from my point of view as director of population matters. You know, we're currently at 7.8 billion people plus on the planet. We're heading to a medium of about 10 billion, according to the UN. There's some variations on that. And in their own projections to 2100, and they do a range of projections, there's a low projection of about 7.3 billion. So that's slightly fewer than we currently are on the planet or a high of 15.6 billion on the planet. And that pivots on whether the average fertility, i.e. the number of kids, of children per woman on average across the world goes up or down by half a child. So one more or less child every second family. Now, in some countries, in the majority of countries, that fertility rate has is falling, has leveled off or is falling. And we are sort of close to or below replacement level. In some countries still, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa, across the Sahel, uh, the fertility rate is still high. So the average is about five kids plus per woman. And those are some of the poorest areas of the world still and very hard, hard stretched by accelerating climate change. The worry in the developed world, which is being really pushed in the media is, oh my goodness, we're an aging population. You know, our fertility rate is going down. Without population growth, there won't be economic growth. Now, there isn't a direct correlation of that at all. And if you look at countries such as Japan, which has one of the highest percentage of older people across the population than any other country, actually their domestic product, their output is still very high and has not been impacted by an aging population. Because the good news is, and particularly for people like me, because I'm over 60, is that as we get older uh, with modern uh, technologies, artificial intelligence, robotics and good medicine, we are more active, more resilient, more able to be active and productive into our later years. So our, you know, our, our average age has gone up and we're still out there. We're not all senile and dementia and you know hopeless sort of Strolbrugs like Jonathan Swift described the aged, you know, living living on forever. Um, and so there is a lot of there is a lot of uh, noise about that, but actually aging populations. I've heard of the one of the ex Finnish prime ministers talk about the older population, which is also a factor in Finland as being the silver generation. And he refers to silver being the new green because actually they are still economically active. They are still consuming and spending and driving the economy, but also they are actually consuming better. They're not so wasteful of resources and they're more conscious about the environment than previous generations. And they are really contributory in terms of childcare and volunteering and charitable work. So, so I wouldn't be so alarmed as, and it tends to be very, very wealthy elites like Elon Musk and Jack Ma, who say, oh my goodness, the population's going down. What they're worried about is labor getting scarcer and more expensive fewer consumers of their products and uh, you know frankly their wealth which is disproportionate in comparison to the rest of the world the rest of us being slightly squeezed so um i don't put a lot of store by those sort of rather self-serving and certainly planet damaging arguments